Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I'm about to do another trade quest, but before that, let me just prepare my vessel a little bit. It needs a bit of a repair. We've got tons of Admiralty's favor, so let's go ahead and just cash that in. <laughs> yeah, I've got 21 favor. I think I, I think I can afford to use some of it. So 3 favor plus 25 echo equals... A perfect hole. Okay, so I think that's all I need to do to prepare for it. So the quest is, once again, just to go get the strange catch again. Which is exactly the same thing I did last time. Which means, once again, I'm going to be heading up to Aram. At the end of the last episode, I was thinking that maybe I would just cut this out. Since I am doing literally the exact same thing I did in the last episode. Same quest, going to the same place. So I think I'm going to do that, because I don't think it'd be particularly interesting to watch. So I'm going to cut out either all or most of the journey, depending on whether anything particularly interesting happens along the way. So I will see you either when I'm done or when something interesting happens. Okay, this should be something interesting. So remember how I've come to the Abbey Rock quite a few times, but I've never really been able to do anything? And I think that's because I really need to bring them recent news, and every time I came here I just never had any recent news to give them. But this time I do. So let's see if we can make something happen. Let's knock at the iron-studded gates with news. Well, let's get a port report first. Brief attention. The muscular prioress, the abbess's lieutenant, comes to the door to listen. She nods and makes notes. She pays particular attention to news of marsh beast predations and the traffic of the rooftops. In return, she offers a rather perfunctory blessing. But the blessing reassures your crew. That's it? Oh, I thought that'd like allow me inside and I could actually do stuff. All it did was reduce my terror by two. Huh. That recent news would have been much better used at Hunter's Keep, or I think it would have reduced my terror by... I, I think ten, right? Nothing else I can do? Well, I can... Watch the convent. Same thing as before, they're just going around doing acrobatic things. Five fragments? Okay. Time to go. We have arrived at Aram. And also, we have a sack of dark drop coffee beans that we got from interrupting the, uh, what, the, the pirates or the looters or whoever they were on Station 3 when I was watching over the yard. And I can give that to the people here, and they rather like it. Hmm? Oh, the false stars again. Once again, let's just forbid them to look. Okay, let's get a port report. And let's go to the House of the Amber Sky. I wonder if it's going to do the same thing as it did before. Let's see. Oh, right, you have multiple options. You can rest, recover, and dream, which is what I did before. Or if you have a searing enigma or wounds and stuff like that, you can do stuff with that. Bargain for a Parabox. What in the heck is that? Yes, the serpent says dreamily. I go to meet the skin of the sun. I will die. The space I leave will remain in this box. I am dead here, and I do not live in the world. You live in the world. And you are not dead here. It's impossible. But it will protect your kingdom from the worst of the sunlight. Until you die. His tongue flickers. But I must drink your future first. I will not die thirsty. This will have all your skills which must be at least 100. It will, however, give you an item which will allow you to colonize Aestavel. Oh! I think that was a recent addition to the game, actually. The ability to colonize Aestavel. Yeah, because you needed something to control the light to be able to colonize it, right? And that's what this is, isn't it? It gives you a para box. Oh my god. Yes, you need all your skills to be 100 or more. 
That is a very late game thing. Wow. Alright, let's rest, recover, and dream. Uh, let's see... Yeah, okay, so that's the same thing that happened before. Ten fragments, lost twenty terror, which is awesome, and a bunch of memories of distant shores. Alright, let's do what I came here for. Strange catches. I need seven? I believe so. Let's just actually check that. Mm hmm. Okay, I think we are good. You know, let me see how many secrets I have. Two. Just two. I feel like I should be upgrading my abilities, though. Like, should I really be hoarding the secrets? I don't think I should. What should I upgrade? I kind of want to upgrade my mirrors just because it's the only one that I'm actually particularly good at. Hmm. What about you? Increase my mirrors. What about you? Let me guess, increase iron. Oh, no, veils. Hmm. I don't know. I'll think about it. Anyway, let's continue back to London. So I'm here back at Nuncio. And I think I'm going to try offering employment to the Postal Rat's niece. Which gives me a free Radis Faber assistant. I still don't know if those actually take hold room. Which is why I was hesitant before, but let's just do it and see what happens. The Postal Rat is grateful, and says so at length and in a variety of ways. Only so much work to go around on Nuncio. She keeps asking to assist me here, but as you can see, a gesture at heaps of loose gears and unhooked chains, I hardly require any assistance, and my research is, is at so delicate a stage. But she's an excellent worker, and very bright, like her mother. I like that he gestured at heaps of loose gears and unhooked chains, and yet he thinks he doesn't need any assistance. I'm pretty sure that demonstrates the opposite of what he was trying to demonstrate. And, oh, they don't take any hold room. Awesome. You know what's really weird, though? This is supposed to be his... What do you say, his niece? And yet, in reality, it's just a normal Rattus Faber assistant. It's just a generic rat person. There's something creepy about that. It's like they're all so generic. It's like every single one is exactly the same. Ugh. I believe I can even use it during combat right now. Yeah, so if I ever found myself in a pinch, I could use that. Let's just test that and make sure that's true. Yeah, there it is. Repairs 10 whole damage instantly. Let's go ahead and explore the Coral Knoll around Port Cecil. Ah, it's the Raggedy Fellow again. I think this guy has tried to come aboard three times, and every single time I just don't have any room. I'm sorry. Let's pick over the encampment at the Salt Lions. One fragment, and that's it. Well, as soon as we're done at Demu Island, or Demo Island, we are basically back to London. Let's get a port report. Uh, what do we want to do with our... Something awaits me in port. Explore the island. Can have tea with the factor again. Uh, let's explore. 
Oh, hello. Oh, this isn't good. A shadowy predator. It's the little things. The click of a sliding stone where there should be silence. A motion in the shadows, as if they were thick stirred like ink. A lull in the cries of the Z-Bats. Something is watching you, drawing closer hour by hour. You and your crew draw back to back, watching the darkness. 37%. Fourteen percent chance to capture it alive. Hmm. Could earn myself a trophy. Nah, that is not even close to worth it. Let's just retreat. Let's put clear black water between you and the thing in the shadows. Eighty percent chance of success. Did it work? Uh, yes. Okay. An orderly retreat. You sense it in the murk. Its course parallel to your own. But by the time it draws near, the lights of the port are already ahead. Your Zaylers clatter up the gangplank, whispering together in nervous undertones. And, uh, yeah, we're pretty much back. I believe after I turn in this trade quest and turn in all of my port reports, I'm definitely going to have enough to buy the ship. But I'm, I, I think I'm going to be like right on the edge of what's comfortable. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Bolt of Spider Silk, that's 50 Echo, nice. Yeah, so I think I'm going to be right on the brink of being comfortable enough to buy it. I can buy it, but again, I want extra money for doing trade quests, for buying fuel and supplies, and of course, stuff to actually outfit the ship. So I'm not quite sure I'm going to have enough. I really am shooting for about 4,000, 3,000 for the ship, and then an extra 1,000 for stuff on top of that. We'll see. And leaving my lights on has done really good for my terror. It's staying very low, but it is eating through a massive amount of my fuel. I think I probably went through about 20 fuel doing this. Which is about 200 echo worth. That's a lot of money. Go ahead and read the paper. Let's turn in the trade quest. 500 Echo, thank you very much. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think I actually just barely got back what I spent actually getting there, which is going to be offset by the, the, uh, the port reports. But yeah, it wasn't much. Ooh. It looks like he's interested in a more uh, larger variety of stuff. Interesting. Well, before doing that, let's turn to my port reports. Also, there seems to be something wrong with the sound effects. I'm not sure if you can tell, but sometimes the sound is just cut off midway through. Like right there. And there again. It's weird. Okay. Yeah, that made me about 200 echo. Nice. Ah, that's definitely not enough. That's 590 on top of... Uh, 590 left over after buying the ship. That's just not enough. I'm not comfortable with that. Okay, let's see what else he wants. 
If he has made two requests, you can fulfill either one. Well, he's actually made three. Alright, what does he want? Romantic literature. Oh, that's the stuff that they don't like in London, right? It's like, it's it's censored. That's the sort of stuff that they would uh, try to search for in your ship when those assholes come aboard looking for stuff. Sintelac, I can do that. Uh, a thousand echo. Ooh, that's good. A thousand echo, a thousand echo, a thousand echo. These are all one thousand echo quests. Nice. Can you just buy Sintelac, though? Like, I know you can gather Sintelac, because I did that... I did that before for the My Father's Bones quest, but can you just buy it outright? I don't remember. Oh. As a matter of fact, look at this. Here's Port Cecil. Yeah, I don't have it listed. So then how would I get seven? Would I have to actually gather it seven times? If I would, that'd be kind of insane. Hmm. Well, what about this? They publish the stuff in the Canate to the east. It may be difficult, they don't trade readily. The Canate. Have I been there? No. I think that was down here. Or, no, maybe that was something else. I'm not quite sure. Well, it's either the Canate or Port Cecil. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm going to make my way to Port Cecil and just see what's going on. I'm going to cut out the journey there, though. We have arrived at Port Cecil. Let's get a port report. So yeah, they don't sell Sintelac in the shops, which is exactly what I thought. Man, I can use my something await you import to get one Sintelac. I need seven. Oh, this is not good. Crap. I can... Oh god, this would be so stupid, but I could kind of force this. by just, like, going out to sea and just hanging around and just staying in one place until the something awaits you in port pops up and then coming back? I could do that, but that's so dumb. That's so boring. And I only have a 61% chance of success anyway. I don't know. Let's, let's see what happens. Should I succeed? I did. Now I have one Sintelac. Yay! This is probably the same thing it said before last time I gathered it, I assume. Actually, I don't think it is. Oh, no, no, it is. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so there's a 60-something percent chance of succeeding in getting one. I need to do this six more times. I need something away to import to even do it. And even if I succeed, I gain six terror each time. The <sighs> no. I, I can't be doing this. I just can't do this. It just isn't feasible. It's not reasonable. Hmm. Well, shit, I think my trade quests have kind of dried up. Well, I kind of expected something like this to happen, so here's what I'm going to do. I have a bit of a surprise. Back at London, I spent the money on five Foxfire Candles and one Flare. Which I can now use to go into the basement at Nuncio, which just happens to be right here. All that stuff together costs somewhere around 200 Echo, so it's kind of pricey. 
but hopefully it pays off. And the Kanate is apparently somewhere here to the east, so you know what, while I'm over here, maybe I should just look for the Kanate. Try to find some romance literature that I can buy. Let's do it. I guess we do have to explore a bit. Which I'm very hesitant to do in this really crappy ship, but pretty much gotta do it. I mean, if I don't start doing quests or doing something, some sort of concrete way to make money, I'm just gonna bleed out money by using up supplies and fuel. I have to explore. Descend into the basement with flame. Properly equipped. Candles for the way, and a flare for the bottom. Spiral on spiral on spiral. The descent is long and slow. You count the turns at first, but the time comes when you can't see the square of light from the door above, and can't mark how far you've come around the spiral. You exhaust one candle after another. At the end, you come to a place where the ramp opens into a bowl-shaped floor, the cavern must be hundreds of feet wide here. You light your flare, but even that does not show the cavern walls. The floor is carpeted with... At first you think it's gravel, but no. It's broken shards of clay and stone, all scribbled over in words too old to read. At the center of this space is a needle of deep black rock, glossy as resin, glittering with ice. Inscribed with three arcane sigils that hurt to look at. You feel a meaning in their presence, a prohibition or a commandment, that all things must come to their destined place. That what cannot be delivered immediately must be saved against a future date. That a message that goes unheard is a tragedy. That the signal must be carried, no matter how far, no matter through what darkness. No matter whether the sender still lives, nor whether the recipient can even read the language of the writing. The inscription resolves itself and is known to you. No word lost. Gained terror, which doesn't surprise me, that seems appropriate. Hmm. I now, have a, I now have a searing enigma. I think there's a bunch of places I can use that. One of which is, if I have Dark Drop Coffee Beans, I think I could use that for something at Aram. But I don't have any Dark Drop Coffee Beans. Oh. Right. I have to climb out. The climb out is slow and takes a long time. Could you possibly have come down this far? Surely not. Your breath grows ragged, and your legs cramp. Ascend or sit down a moment. Uh, why do I worry if I sit down for a moment? All the lights will go out, and I'll never find my way out. I really want to sit down, but I'm scared. Fuck. I really want to sit down. I really want to sit down, but... It's so dangerous. It's so dangerous. I feel like if I click that button, I'm going to regret it forever. Mm, I can't make a decision. Let's sit down a moment. Visions? 
Dreams? You relax against a shelf. It isn't comfortable at all, as the edge of a metal box is prodding you between the spine and the shoulder blade. And somewhere off to your right is a sound like hoarse breathing. It doesn't matter. In the dimness you see, or remember, or dream, a silver tree growing in a courtyard. The reverie lasts only a, a few heartbeats before you're properly awake again. Somewhere off to my right is a sound of hoarse breathing. There's something down here with me. A silver tree growing in a courtyard. Oh my god, I can continue to sit down. Ah. Uh... This is so hard. I god damn it. I really want to sit down, but I really don't at the same time. There's something fucking down here with me. There's something breathing in the darkness. No, fuck this. I'm leaving. The dead litter office is still here. Its machine still working. Its basket still filling with missed invitations and misplaced wills. Shouldn't it, shouldn't it have been blasted away? Destroyed by the force of what lies beneath? <sighs> Let's tell him what we saw. Without name. You start to explain, but your language doesn't have the right words to express it. The weight of the delivery commandment. The sacred necessity for every word to reach its destination. And the countless individual miscarriages of meaning from one entity to another, which have occurred throughout history and are still occurring, to the detriment of the whole universe. He holds up a paw. Not going to understand it no matter how much you explain, he says. And I'm glad, as if I did understand I'd be likely to run mad, working where and as I do. After a moment he adds, likely you'll forget, at least forget some of it. After all, you never wore the uniform. Then he points out where your hair has singed at the temples, and gives you an ointment he keeps in a drawer. Likely you'll forget some of it because you never wore the uniform. Does that mean if I actually got the uniform and went down there, I would remember it? Would I become just like him? I can tell him again. I can tell him again. Hold on. Uh, now that my kind of cred has risen, can I actually get a uniform? So, uh, trade war stories? I don't, I don't think it's going to do anything. Nope. Judge the postman in light of what you now know. All have failed. Hmm. Interesting. I, I guess I'll honor them. All have tried. Saints and martyrs. Nothing about them now seems comical or strange. The regulation maintenance of their uniform, uniforms is a mark of holy dedication. Their scars are earned by faith and hard work. They were given an impossible task, but none excuse themselves just because of that. The hairless postwoman sees your glance and returns a rueful smile. Well, I'm more learned in postal secrets. And I have more postal cred. Now, can I borrow a uniform? Nope. Damn. I could study what goes on in the back room. <laughs> the chance of success is pretty low, but then again, what's the worst thing that could happen if I fail? doesn't seem particularly dangerous. Hmm. Let's just lay claim to a parcel. 
Another outlandish artifact. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, so the question remains, what in the hell do I do now? I think I should try to find the Kinate and see if I can buy some literature. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to go explore in the darkness down here. Alright, let's go. I really don't want to explore in the ship, but I need money and I can't think of any other way to do it. Polythreme. There it is. Oh. 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 Holy fuck. That shit's moving. <laughs> that was moving. Whatever the hell was under the water was moving. It didn't seem like an enemy. It just seemed like... I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the hell it seemed like, but I'm not getting near it. Fuck that. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. I'm gonna fucking panic out here. Jesus Christ. Let's try to get the polythreme. Oh, shit. Fuck, that thing's like protecting the way to polythreme. And if, okay, so this way has a weird monster thing under the water. This way has a ship... Fuck that way. I'm I'm going here. There's that weird thing again. It's definitely moving. Godfall. Where are you? Oh, <laughs> great, it's right through the stuff. Oh, wonderful. crazy or does that look like a like a humanoid face like a skull like well, I'll pause it in a second so it gets brighter but I think it looks like this is an eye that's an eye and that's a mouth just look you see what I mean yeah yeah that's definitely some fucking skull face monster thing that wants to suck me up all right god damn it there's another ship this is why I need a new ship I can't explore Wait, this is the domain of the new Kanate, whose ancestors came here long before London fell. Khan's glory, is that the Kanate? Well, let's go to Khan's glory. I'm uh, familiar with this place from the last time I came here, my last game.
Oh man, my terror just went way up. Now, if I remember right, they didn't want to trade with me because they didn't trust me. Like, I don't think they'd give me anything. Gift of five sacks of dark drop coffee beans. I might need to do that if I want a, an in to trade. Ooh, I can offer a gift to the Taman. I don't know who the Taman are, but that's right. I got these. I got a uh, twenty drowning pearls a long time ago from something. Sell the memento more. Hell no. Yeah, so no shops available at the moment. Let's do this and see what happens. Let's offer a gift to the Taman. And this clan is named for a sizable, sizable and ferocious fish of the surface. They have a fondness for drowning pearls. For some secret clan ritual. An offering accepted. In the yellow chamber by the palace entrance, a masked functionary scrutinizes the pearls. Yes, she says. Even through the masks. The mask. She does not meet her eyes. She rises, turns, and leaves. Gained Taman's mercy favor. Well, I can do this three more times. Hmm. I can ask the Taman... My team in context to intercede. And I can actually get enough mercy to actually do this. Ooh, the leper's favor is essential for gaining access to Kanate trade. I, I think this is my in. Okay, let's keep doing this. There we go. Four favor. Yeah, now I can ask Taman Contacts to intercede with the leopard and hopefully gain access to the trade network. A masked functionary hears a request in the Grey Chamber. We will consider the matter, is all she says. You now have two times favor, Leopard's Condescension. That doesn't sound like a good thing. Uh, did it work? Unlocked with favors, Leopard's Condescension, no more than nine. It sounds like it didn't work. I definitely don't have access to the shop. Hmm. Is there any place I can buy drowning pearls? I can ask the Leopard Contacts to intercede with the Taman. There's some weird political stuff here. I can ask the Taman to intercede with the Leopard and the Leopards to intercede with the Taman. I need more condescension. That will reduce K Kaganian suspicion. Except I don't think I have any Kaganian suspicion, do I? And if I have Taman's Mercy 3, I can plead my case. Although I think that's just to, it looks like it's just to reduce my suspicion. This this is weird. I don't really know what the hell to do here. Petition for access to the Nefridi Quarter. Leopard's Condescension 5, you have 2. Okay, so I guess if I keep giving... Yeah, I guess if I keep giving Drowning Pearls to the Taman, and then ask them to intercede, that will... Increase my condescension favor, which sounds like a bad thing, but apparently it's a good thing. And once I get up to five, then I can petition for access. Okay, so I guess I just need a bunch of drowning pearls. Now, where can I buy them? Let me let me switch over to my list here. Do I have anything here for drowning pearls? Oh. 
Doesn't look like it. Let me just uh, check. Do a search for Pearl. Uh, nope, nothing. Hmm. Well, that's not good. So basically, this is a dead end until I find a source for pearls. Yeah. Man, this trade quest... This trade quest line is just dead in the water. I need drowning pearls to even get access to the romantic literature to buy it to do the trade request. Or I can get the... Uh, Scintillac very slowly and very painfully from Port Cecil. This sucks. I have to explore. Like, I, I just can't... I can't do that. I have to explore and look for new stuff, I think. Okay, well... I was so close to being able to buy that ship, but I just can't quite do it. It's frustrating. I mean, again, technically I can buy the ship, but it's... I don't have enough money left over. I just need one more good quest. Just something to give me a good, like, 700 Echo and I'm set. I'm so close. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return in the next episode, I am probably going to explore around here. Somewhere that's somewhat close to London. So hopefully I don't encounter anything too nasty for my ship. Just gonna try to find a place for drowning pearls, or just some sort of a new quest that can make me money.